right, welcome everybody to the reverse trike electric scooter build. Uh, in this video, we're going to cover just the beginnings of the frame, how it all morphed into what you see here. Uh, we're going to go into some specifics about each component that uh, was handcrafted to make this all work well. The whole idea with this kit was to take a two-wheel scooter and turn it to a reverse trike with uh, full suspension and the best part, which I think is makes it a little unique is the ability for it to tilt. So let's get into the build. So we're starting with a S400 twin scooter which has a 350 watt motor and doing a lot of heavy modifications to it. Starting off with some modifications to the rear end, I took a 3 16 plate and cut a hole for a bearing and fit it into that open space you see there to hold the rear swing arm. For the rear shocks, I use dual mountain bike suspension springs. Now there are no dampening assistance with these, so I may want to upgrade in the future, but for now these will work just fine for my purposes. And there you have it, the rear end is done. Now this will offer about three to four inches of travel. The rear tire is off a MX350 electric motorcycle. Uh, this will work really well because it has a tooth pattern that I need for the sprocket and just fits well with the size of the scooter. So let's talk about the front brake system and uh, how it's going to work with a hydraulic system. So these are Harbor Freight wheels. Um, they're, just, they're used, I think, for whirl barrels. Uh, they aren't the strongest, but I think for our, my application, they'll be just fine. So what we'll do is we'll take this hub from that wheel, and we're going to weld on this disc brake here. That disc brake, once it's welded on, will sit with the steering knuckle like so. And then the disc, or excuse me, the hydraulic brake will weld onto that steering knuckle to, for the front brake system. Um, pretty cheap, pretty simple setup, and we'll see how well it works. So all we need to do next is sand off some of the metal around the edge to get that paint off so we can slip this on and weld it in place. Okay, so this is our finished product. Um, everything's not quite bolted down yet, but this is essentially what it's going to look like when it's all done. Um, so this will be dual front hydraulic disc brakes. Pretty cheap setup. I think this uh, brake itself was maybe I think $35 or $40 on Amazon for the dual. Just a regular go-kart brake system. So hoping this is going to work well for us, and let's continue on with the rest of the build. So I do want to mention that the rear tire does have a brake that comes with that MX350 system. It is a drum brake uh, that works off a cable, so we'll be hooking that up as well. 
All right, we're gonna move on to the front portion and how we got it all to work together. So this tilting leaning function comes from a tremendous amount of modification to that front end as you see here. I'm not completely satisfied with the amount of lean that this can generate using the setup I have, but for now it's going to work pretty well. I got the idea for the steering knuckles and swing arms by looking at other YouTube videos online and just basing my design off of that. Okay, so that about wraps up part one of the reverse trike build. Um, in part two, we're going to be talking about the powertrain upgrade. We're going to go from a 350 watt motor to a 2000 watt motor. And also, something I'm really excited about is the 3D printing part of this build. So a lot of times you'll get through something like this and it looks kind of bare bones and a little bit, um, you could say, amateur, but we're going to try to up that level by using 3D printed parts and really make this look like it was production made. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll look forward to that. Have a good day.